Hey everyone, I'm grateful to have you watching today's video and hope you are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world today. So today's message is something that I have been diving into in an amazing book that I highly recommend uh, checking out that I've been reading recently. And that book is by the incredible Jeff Brown. It's called Soul Shaping and it's a phenomenal one. And I wanna dive into some concepts um, that are gonna help you, I hope, as much as they've helped me, uh, just to get some perspective in terms of um, when you kind of feel like maybe you're, you're, you're really trying to grow, you know, you're really doing everything to analyze everything and kind of dive into um, what, what challenges you might have or, or so forth. But what's actually kind of happening is, uh, is ultimately um, you're feeling like your growth is stunted. So I want to dive into this and unpack it with you guys. Um, but let me just have a quick look. Oh, cool. All right. Sorry, I'm just seeing some new features on Facebook. Cool. So um, today's message is for all of us who are feeling as though we might have had some of our growth feeling kind of stunted. Um, you might be looking in the wrong direction, which is what I want to dive into with you guys today. So I'd love for you to drop me a comment and let me know um, where you're tuning in from and let me know, have you fallen into this sense of feeling as though uh, your growth is kind of stunted right now? I'd love to hear from you and love to support you um, throughout our conversation today. Join in at any time. So let's dive into it. Okay, so this incredible book has been waking me up on a multitude of different um, levels. Okay, so Jeff Brown, I um, had the pleasure of interviewing a couple of weeks ago. Unfortunately, because of um, an internet issue, um, I lost majority of that conversation and we will be doing a redo um, in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that because it was just so, there was so much wisdom in his work. And if you don't know Jeff Brown, please do check out his um, Facebook page, his Instagram page, He's a phenomenal soul um, who talks into the stuff that absolutely, really, truly and deeply matters. Um, and so I love his work and, like I said, been diving into um, his book, Soul Shaping, which was his first book that he wrote a few years ago. Now, the reason why I'm bringing into the equation that book in terms of, you know, feeling like our growth is stunted is because I, like many of us, have fallen into this trap for a huge period of my life, which was to discount my emotions in terms of my personal growth and development. Now, so I fell into the trap of, um, well, it's not really a trap, it's just a stage of development. We all need to have a stage of development where we might start with, kind of like being a child where our emotions run us, you know, if we can fall into a tantrum, then we go through a stage of feeling like, okay, like um, I, these emotions, like I can, I don't have to feel this way forever. I get to just choose another emotion and choose a more positive way of being in the world by choosing my focus and what I'm going to um, make things mean. And all that great stuff is part of our development. Where we can run into a bit of a challenge is when we feel like we've been going on that growth journey and we've been, you know, really choosing our emotional states and owning that. And then we run into this challenge where we kind of feel like we hit the ceiling and we feel like our growth is stunted and we're kind of bashing against that ceiling over and over again. And, you know, why isn't this working or why don't I feel like I'm growing? And, you know, I'm, I'm being in control of my emotional state. Like, what, what do I need to do to get to the next level? And you might be very well looking in the wrong direction when you hit that ceiling because that ceiling got you, you know, that, that, um, that positive way of being and selective, being selective of your emotional states got you so far in your growth and your development. Now you know that you can choose your emotions. You can, um, you know, be consciously aware of what emotions you're choosing and what's um, working for you, what's not working for you. But at some level, when you hit that ceiling, you've got to look in the opposite direction. And the opposite direction is to actually go internal with those feelings and those emotions. So what Jeff Brown talks about uh, in his book, Soul Shaping, is that our repressed emotions are unactualized spiritual lessons. 
Okay, so think about that. Every emotion that you repress within yourself is an unactualized spiritual lesson waiting for you. There's wisdom in that emotion that you've chosen to look in the other direction of, chosen to repress, um, albeit, you know, with maybe positive intention about where you want to get to and you don't want to be weighed down by the emotions, right? And you feel like, hey, I get to choose if I want to feel bad or if I feel good. You do get to choose, but the more you repress your emotions, the more stuck you're going to feel, the more you're going to hit that ceiling. And so, you know, realizing that in those repressed emotions are the unactualized spiritual lessons that we need to actually grow. You know, in order to grow, we have to access those repressed feelings and we have to feel them all the way through. And once we make it, you know, all the way through uh, that tunnel of experiencing that emotion, the lesson that is then revealed, you know, and that's when the soul gets to, you know, make it to the next stage. And that hitting of the ceiling, that feeling like your growth is stunted, it's actually there to serve you. It's like, hey, you've learnt the lesson of this path. This path has now hit the end of its point. Now is the time you actually have to take a different direction. You have to forget get everything you thought you knew. You have to be open to experiencing the new. And from that place, you know, you kind of got to go, uh, it's kind of the paradox, you know, before um, what got you along the pathway of your growth and your development was to choose your emotional state. Now you're allowing your emotions to come to the surface so that you can fully feel through them and realize that when you do not repress your emotions and instead you actually feel through your emotions they actually become unlocked spiritual lessons for your soul all right and I know that kind of sounds all woo-woo um, for a lot of us but okay let me break it down in a less woo-woo way if you keep repressing your emotional states you are neglecting the wisdom that is there for you to learn the lesson so you don't keep repeating the same old mistakes and you get to actually feel fulfilled. You actually get to feel a sense of personal progress and empowerment by moving through your emotional states, by working out what are they trying to signify to you. And do not get trapped in um, a state of being which um, I fall into this often which is because I've lived so much of my life where I've been like, no, 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 don't feel that, don't feel that, that's gonna get in the way um, you know, of your growth and what you wanna achieve or the connection that you wanna have. You don't wanna burden other people with your emotional experience. Because I've done that for so many years of my life, um, when I do feel something quite strongly, um, I oftentimes uh, let the external world negate that on my behalf because I've done such a good job at negating my own emotional experience for so long. And I've recently had an experience where I was, I was really, really quite hurt and I was really quite, um, I was really quite upset and I felt really quite uh, attacked. Um, and I tried to express how I was feeling um, in an open way with, in a conversation with somebody that I trusted. And, um, and what I got back was kind of shut down. This person wasn't going to, um, no, 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 okay, let's just get over that and let's just move on to this. Let's just forget about that as I'm trying to express my emotional state. And um, in the moment, like I actually had a recording of this, um, if, of this conversation. And um, I listened over to it because uh, like in the moment I was felt feeling like, oh, okay, like, I don't know, I didn't know quite how I was feeling. And when I was trying to express it and try and work it out, it was shut down. And I thought, okay, um, okay, I don't know. I just didn't know in the moment, right? And luckily I had the recording of this conversation. So I got the opportunity that we often don't have, which is to go and reflect and actually see it for what the truth is, right? Not our memory of an event, which is connected to our emotions. And oftentimes we can't see clearly the other perspectives in, in the conversation, but I was actually able to watch it from this third party perspective. And, um, and it's really important to ensure that the people that you surround yourself with 
don't negate your emotional experience because that's where we can fall into the trap. That's actually part of the reason why we've gotten to ourselves, gotten ourselves to the place where we are, where we feel stunted in our growth because we have so many repressed emotions because we're not the only ones repressing them. The outside world and the people around us don't want to deal with our emotions. So they encourage us to repress them if they're not trying to actively rep repress them for us. All right. And that's all learned behavior. And then we learn, okay, emotions are bad um, and, you know, just trying to get on with it and be positive is good. That's stunting your growth. Like the amazing Jeff Brown stated, you know, in his book, Soul Shaping It, go and get it, amazing, um, is that repressed emotions are unactualized spiritual lessons. Your soul, your that part of you, that deeper part of you that just knows there's more to experience, there's more to contribute, there's more to um, give in this lifetime, that part of you is yearning to just be felt through emotions. That's its language. And when you feel through those emotions, no, how, no matter how dark and uncomfortable they may be in the moment, you get out the other side and you actually learn a lesson that will help you to transcend the current sphere of your growth and your development, to keep continuing to evolve as the individual that you are. There's nothing more empowering than that. And you wanna, like I said, this is kind of a double message. You've got to own your own emotional state, stop repressing them, but you also need to surround yourself with people who do not negate your emotions and until you're strong enough um, to not let their influence impact you and your own expression. I'm not saying I'm quite 100% there yet. I'm definitely a hell of a lot more consciously aware of when that's happening and how important and empowering my feeling through my actual emotions is. Um, I'm no longer of the mindset that you have to be positive, positive, positive. And if you feel negative, like what are you doing? Like you've got a choice, just get rid of that and get on with the job. I'm no longer of that mindset because I know where it gets us. It can get us so far, but then we hit that ceiling. And unless we're willing to break through that ceiling by looking in the opposite direction, to unlearn all that we've previously learned and to be opened up to learning something completely new, then, you know, and that sense of newness is the actual um, expression of our emotions, the full feeling through of our emotions so that we can glean the lesson and we can get to a new level and stop repeating past patterns. Patterns. All right, there's so much value in this. Um, I hope that this message has served you. I definitely want to check in with you guys, see who's been able to join me. Um, please do drop me a comment, ask any questions that you have, um, or share any of your experiences or words of wisdom that you'd love to contribute to the conversation today. You guys know I love getting to connect, so let me dive in. Um, and I'm just about to run out the door today. Um, it's so good to be able to get outside a little bit. Um, but I've got Angie and the house and Joseph and Quim and Elves here, yay, and Joseph. Hi Vanessa, this video is perfect. Love the message in terms of discounting emotions. Also, you've got mail. Oh, awesome. Grateful to hear um, that this message is of value to you, Joseph. Great to have you live. And um, and also, I will check my mail. Thanks for sending through. And uh, Sherry's here as well. And Ken, I love your guidance. Oh, well, I'm so grateful to hear that, Ken. I'm grateful that it can be of value to you and love that you've showed up live today. And thanks always for letting me know. And uh, Josie's here as well. And Judy, awesome, awesome, awesome. So guys, I hope this message has served you. For anybody who is feeling stunted in their growth, you might just be at that next level of your development where it's no longer serving you to play the same patterns that were serving you at one stage. And now it might be that you have to look in the direction of your oppressed emotions. You know, the more you can seek out into the darkness what you might be a bit afraid of, the more you shine light on it and you more, the more you actually realize that that's where all the answers are, you know? Um, so it's really, really empowering. And Sunny just said, Amen to that. Well said, Vanessa. Surround yourself with like-minded people and people that will push you to the next level. Absolutely. And not just like-minded people, but open-minded people. You know, you've got to be surrounded by people who can be flexible with you because if they're not flexible, open-minded people, 
they're going to create a bit of a challenge for you if you're somebody who is consistently growing and evolving. All right, if you're somebody who consistently grows and evolves, you need to be flexible with yourself and you need to have other people around you be flexible with you, which it all stems from that open mindedness, drop the expectations, have appreciation and just want the best for yourself and for the people around you and make sure they want the same for you. All right, this is super important. I love what you've shared there Sunny and grateful to see you live again always love when I get to see you guys coming back and back and back um, that absolutely touches my heart and Corey's just joined I hope you catch the recording my friend because I'm just about to sign off um, I want to appreciate each and every one of you guys for joining me live today for contributing to the conversation hope this has served you and as always I'm sending you guys all of my love light blessings gratitude energy th enthusiasm everything extraordinary coming to you wherever you are in the world today. I really do hope that it's beautiful, amazing and extraordinary that you're doing something super empowering and today's message has definitely served you. Um, thanks again. I'm signing off. I'm sending you all of my love and I'll see you tomorrow.